Let's homebrew our old or new 3DS for free. We are going to be using the sound hacks method for this guide and this will only work for models that are on firmware 1.0 all the way through to 11.3. So if your 3DS is a higher version than that, I will have other guides linked below for you to use instead. If you were hoping for a guide for the old 3DS on 11.17, the latest firmware, there is currently no free method for that version, but make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for when it gets released. But anyways, if you have a 3DS or 2DS that is below 11.3 firmware version, let's homebrew it for free in this video. You will of course need a 3DS or 2DS. This can be new or old, just to be clear, and you'll need an SD card as well. Now I'll be using a micro SD card in an adapter, but whatever you have that fits should work as long as it's formatted as FAT32. We'll talk more on that later. You will also need a way for your computer to read and place files on your SD card. I have this Ugreen adapter here. Uh, if you're interested in the products I use, I will have them all linked below if you want to get them. But with that out of the way, let's get started. So I will have a link below for this Google Doc for the FS47, that's me, 3DS homebrew guide for sound hacks. But once you get here, make sure to read the disclaimer and let's get started. We are gonna be using the official guide. Uh, so let's click on the highlighted green link and it should take us directly there. As you can see, it'll take us to installing boot nine strap through sound hacks and again, this works for all versions 1.0 all the way through 11.3 in all regions. And if you don't know your firmware version, just head over into system settings and you can see it in the bottom right of the top screen. Mine is version 11.2.0. And again, the letter does not matter as this works for all regions. So it's time to set up our SD card, so let's get downloading. So down below, uh, under what you need, we're gonna grab the latest release of Sound Hacks. So click it, it'll take you to the official Sound Hacks page. If you wanna show your support to them, there's an option to donate. But make sure to select for what your device is. So for me, mine is USA. It is an old 3DS, and it is on 11.2, so I'm gonna select this one. Of course, make sure you get the proper one. But once you have that selected, just press download M4A and it'll download in the bottom left. We can close that website. Next up, we're going to grab the release of Safe B9S installer. This will download right away. Uh, grab Boot 9 Strap here as well. It'll download right away as well. We're going to grab the latest release of Luma 3DS. This is the custom firmware that we're going to be setting up on our device. It'll take you to this page where you can just grab this zip file right here. As recording, it is on version 13.0.2, but if this is further into the future, it may be different. As you can see, it updated two weeks ago, but we can close that page and we're gonna grab Universal Other App. We're gonna grab the other app.bin right here. We can close that page and now it is time to prep our SD card. So make sure to take it out of your 3DS and plug it into your computer. So here is my SD card. Now, if you are using the original SD card, you can of course use it for this guide. And if you wanna upgrade it to something larger, I highly suggest doing that if you have a four gigabyte or two gigabyte one, as you can't fit too many games on there. If you do decide to upgrade, all you have to do is transfer all the files from your old one to your new one, but make sure it's formatted as FAT32. If hearing FAT32 format is new to you, if you need to check, click on the storage device, right click and hit properties. And as you can see, mine is FAT32. If your SD card is larger than 32 gigabytes, you'll have to use GU format. So back on the Google Doc, you can click on the FAT32 format. It'll take you to this page where you can download a program to do that. All you do is click on the image and it'll download GU format, run it and format your card. But when you format it, it will wipe everything. So make sure you back up anything you don't wanna lose. But once you have it formatted as FAT32, we can set up our SD card. So my SD card is on the right and I'm gonna pull up my downloads on the left. We're gonna start off by copying the sound hacks file that we downloaded to the root of your SD card. And just so you're aware, you may have extra folders on your SD card. I just don't have a DCIM or private folder right now. But you should have this Nintendo 3DS if you've plugged it into your 3DS already. Next up, we're gonna grab the other app.bin file, drag it onto the root of your SD card. We're gonna open up our 3DS zip file. You will need an extraction software to open these files. I suggest WinRAR, it's free. 
but open that up, grab both of these files and drag them onto the root of your SD card. Close that and you can delete this if you want, we don't need it anymore. And on the root of your SD card, right click and create a new folder and call it boot nine strap. And we're gonna open up the boot nine strap zip file and we're gonna grab both of these files and place it into our boot nine strap folder. Once it's in there, we can close this, we can delete the zip file. Next up, we're gonna open up the safe B9S installer and we're gonna grab this safe B9S installer dot bin file and drag it onto the root of your SD card. Make sure you grab the bin file. And then you can close the zip file, delete it if you want. And we are now done setting up your SD card. So this is what it should look like right here. And in your boot nine strap folder, you should have these files. Once you have it all looking good, we are ready to eject our SD card and head over to our 3DS. I'll meet you over there. And once you're on your 3DS, make sure you plug in your SD card and let's get started. On the home menu, we're gonna head into 3DS sound. Now, if you've never opened this and get tips on how to use it from the bird icon, just go through all of the tips, close the app, and then relaunch it. But once you're on this page, we're gonna select SD card, and we're gonna play the Nedwill 2016 right here. So hit play, and it should run through the exploit. Now, the official guide says this may take up to 10 tries, so don't lose hope and keep trying until it works. If you see the message could not play, you are either on a system version incompatible with sound hacks or you're downloading the wrong sound hacks release. If it freezes, force the console to power off by holding the power button, then try again. But once you are on this screen, just input the key combo. It may be different than mine, but just go through and do that. Press A and it should begin. It is successful, so just press A to continue and it should reboot your console into the Luma 3DS configuration menu, just like so. Now we're just gonna press start, and it's gonna save it and reboot the console to the home menu, but it'll be running Luma 3DS. Unfortunately, my power button is a little, little janky, so I gotta play around with it. <laughs> All right, and I finally turned it back on, and now we are inside Luma custom firmware. At this point, we can take our SD card out of our console and plug it back into our PC. I'll meet you over there. And on the guide, scroll all the way to the bottom where you see finalizing setup. Click on it and it should take you to this page. So although we now have custom firmware on our 3DS, we need to finalize our setup. So on this page, we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna grab this finalizing.zip download right here. So click on it, it'll download. And we're gonna open it up, pull up our SD card here, and we're gonna copy these three folders and drag them to the root of your SD card. If you are using a Mac, just hold the option key while dragging the folders to the root and then click merge. And just like that, we are ready to head back onto our 3DS. When you boot it, hold the select button and you should see the Luma 3DS configuration. This confirms that we have successfully added the CFW custom firmware to our 3DS. Just press start, it'll save it and we're gonna reboot our console. Now the reason we double check that we have CFW on our console is because we are going to update the system to the latest firmware next. So head into your system settings. From here, you need to make sure that you have an internet connection. So I'm quickly gonna set mine up, I'll be right back. But once your internet is set up, go into other settings. Well, I'm gonna whoop, go all the way over to the right and system update, press okay and I accept and it will update your device. I'll meet you back when it's updated. Once the update is complete, you should see this screen, just press okay and it will restart your system. And for the next step, we're gonna have to open the Rosalina menu. So how you do that is you hold the left shoulder, D-pad down and select. And you should see this pop up. This is the Rosalina menu. If one of those three buttons is not working, on the official guide, you can download the config.ini file, and this will change the Rosalina menu shortcut to X plus Y. But once you're on here, head over down to miscellaneous options. We're gonna go to the bottom where it says dump DSP firmware. It was successfully written, press B. After doing that step, go up one to nullify user time offset, click A, and 
it will be completed. So press B, press B again to return to the Rosalina menu, and press B to exit the menu. And now we can power off our console, and then we're going to restart it, but we're going to hold start when we do so. So click on start and power on your console. This should boot us into God Mode 9, just like so. And if you did not boot into God Mode 9, make sure you properly extracted and placed the finalizing zip to the root of your SD card. If you are prompted to create an essential files backup like I do, just press A, press A again, and now press A, and we're gonna set up the date and time. So go ahead and do that. Press A, and now we are in the God Mode menu. Now we're gonna hit the Home button to bring up the Action menu, as you can see here. We're going to go down to scripts, press A, select finalize, press A, right into sysnan is locked, unlock it now, press A, and now we're going to do a key combo, and press A. Once you see this screen, just know that it takes up to 15 minutes to complete, so be patient, uh, but when you're ready, just press A, and it will begin. And we are done. That took about 7 minutes for me, but when it is done, you should see Setup Complete. We have now backed up our NAND. If you do not see this screen, you'll just have to redo that section to finalize. But once that is done, we can press A to continue, we can power off our console, and we're going to head over to our PC and place our NAND backup in a safe place. Once you're back on your PC, insert your SD card, and we're going to back up our NAND. Now the reason we're doing this is because this is what you will use in case you break your device now it's very rare but possible but let's go ahead and place it in a safe spot so what i'm going to do just like my other backups as you can see i got my wii u nand backup new 2ds number two nand backup i'm going to create a folder on my desktop called old 3ds black nand backup now i'm just doing this because i also have a blue old 3ds but you can just call it whatever you want but once you have a folder created, we're going to go into our GM9 folder on our SD card, go into backups, and you should see three files. We have a sysnan bin, sysnan bin.sha, and essential exef. We're going to highlight all three of these, and we're going to drag them into that folder. The two sysnan files are your NAND backup. These can be used to revert your console to a working state in case it gets bricked by a software issue. The essential.exefs file contains your console's system unique files and can be used to recover your data in the event of a hardware failure. So all three of these are very important to have. Double check that they went into the folder on your PC and then we can delete them from our SD card as it just takes up a gigabyte or so and we can use that for games so you can delete them off there once they're backed up safely but now that we're done with that we can unplug our SD card and head back onto our 3DS upon rebooting you may see this just press OK and you should see your new presence so let's go over and open them up we have an enemy a 3DS theme manager where you can get almost any custom theme that you could dream of. We have Checkpoint, which backs up and restores save files for your 3DS and DS games. One of the most important programs, FBI, allows you to install CIA formatted files to your 3DS. We have FTPD, which gives you access to your SD card wirelessly. We have Universal Updater, where you can download homebrew apps and games directly on your 3DS. And lastly, we have the Homebrew Launcher itself. So this is where you can place .3DSX files, but let's go in there and you can see, this is where your Homebrew apps will show up if you place them in your 3DS folder. So there you have it, we are now officially done setting up our Homebrew 3DS. If you're interested what else you can do with your 3DS, there is a playlist linked in the doc or in the description where I have tons of guides where you can get the full experience out of your homebrewed 3DS. You can get it looking like this one with custom themes, emulators, and more. So make sure you go check that out. If you ran into any issues, you can find the official Nintendo homebrew discord in the official guide or you can join my discord server which is linked below the video and in the google doc if you found this video helpful and you now have a homebrew device please make sure to like the video it really helps me out 
make sure to comment that this guide is working and please let me know if there is any changes to the guide so I can update the video. And if you want to show your support for the channel, you can become a member down below which gives you extra perks on my channel or you can find a link to buy me a coffee down below. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great time with your new homebrewed 3DS. See you on the next one. Stay funky and happy modding.